Brock at the hole, Brock at the old shy, Brock at the hole, Brock at the old shy. This is Second Ezra two and forty. Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord, that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hallowed. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. This passage right here is, you know, Yahweh Shai crowning the 144,000, the elect. The reason why I want to read this passage was verse 47. It says, So he answered and said unto me, It is in the Son, it is the Son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. The elect stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. The persecution that the elect must endure to receive the kingdom draweth nigh. This is the book of Acts. Fourteen and twenty two. It says confirming the souls of the disciples. And exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So that tribulation is, is about to be multiplied to a higher level. So this is the exhortation to the Akim to prepare yourself to the best of your ability to endure that persecution. That tribulation that's about to come upon us, our neighbors coming up against us, our parents, our brothers, our family members trying to turn us into a, the authorities, us being demonized in the media. Um, like it says in Isaiah. Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And in these times that are coming to test the men of the Lord, this faith, this truth, is what's going to keep us stable. Alright, so I'm going to end it on this last scripture in 1 Timothy. Uh, First Timothy chapter six, verse 12, it says, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, or unto thou art also called and has professed a good pr profession before many witnesses. It says, fight the good fight of faith, man. F keep on fighting, keep on fighting in that. And the real battle hasn't begun yet. 
Soon we're going to have to endure extreme humiliation. Like it says, before honor is humiliation. The scripture said that the Lord is going to give the earth to the meek. The meek shall inherit the, inherit the world. You know, Yahweh Shai, before he had to bear his cross. The scriptures say, um, let me see. I'm a, the scriptures say, uh, that's not going to be the last scripture. Hold up, I'm, I'm going to get it. Matthews. Here it is, right here. Matthew 16 and 24. It says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will not, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Yahweh Shai had to endure persecution. The scriptures say the master is not greater than the servant. Um, when Yahweh Shai was about to endure uh, his cross, he went to the garden and prayed to the Lord that he would pass over him. And um, this is the state that Yahweh Shai was in. This is Luke 20, 22 and verse uh, 42, 41. 40. It says, and when he, and this is talking about Yahweh Shah, and when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground. See, how was Shai prayed to the Father that he that he wouldn't have to go through the trials and tribulations that he had to endure to save the nation? He was in so much agony. I'm going to read the point of verse 44 again. It says, and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was as it were great drops of blood Falling down to the ground. Yahweh Shah was bleeding blood. Great drops. The size of big drops. That's how, how much anxiety and stress the Lord was in. Knowing that his time was up. And that he had to bear the hell. He had to bear that fiery trial. Well right now. The clock is ticking for the elect. Soon. Us brethren who claim to be men of the Lord about to be tried by Yahweh Bashin Yahushai. We're about to be tried. 